The beautiful Schecter E1 Special FRS. I've owned this guy for almost two years now. So let's talk about what I like and I don't like. So first off, and this is the reason I bought this guitar, aside from the Sustaniac, which we will talk about. Whether you're a Schecter fan or not, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. I really, really, really like the color and the finish on this one. Just as nice from behind as well. I think the carbon fiber trim on the neck and the body is really cool. You don't see that. There's also that bit. These little side dots are also glow in the dark. Yeah, see, check it out. Once I fixed it, it played nice, but it was set up very poorly out of the box. So that's kind of my segue into the cons. Now, this could be a matter of opinion or equipment, but I ain't crazy about these pickups. And I don't think these pickups are enough to drive that Sustaniac. I personally am having a hard time getting everything I should be able to get out of that Sustaniac. Let's go just south here. I've had good Floyds. I've had bad Floyds. This is not a good Floyd. It's a damn shame because this is not a cheap guitar. Still worth it, subscribe!